Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of April 2019. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link of the entire reading. Enjoy the video. Namaste. So you come into this reading with the Seven of Cups, right? The Seven of Cups is about um, choices and confusion in regards to those choices. So much so that the Moon card is there. There's a little bit of fear and anxiety, but definitely some confusion. In the Hermit card right there, you are soul searching and seeking some inner guidance, looking for the truth with the Ace of Swords underneath it. You're looking for some truth. You come out of this hermit mode strengthened to move forward in your life into a new chapter and a new journey, right? This is one life cycle ending, another life cycle beginning. So you come out of that hermit mode with the truth from the Ace of Swords about the direction of your life. You're strengthened. The Five of Cups comes in and says that you are... Um, you're moving on. You're, you're moving on. You're, you're moving on. The Five of Cups is about, you know, strife, tension, conflict. No, I'm sorry. I'm, re I'm reciting the Five of Wands. The Five of Cups. I'm having a mental block. The Five of Cups is about loss, regret, disappointment, despair. It's also about acceptance and forgiveness and moving on from those feelings, right? You're moving on from, from any kind of bad feelings that you were confused, that, that had you confused over here. You're moving on from them. The Three of Wands underneath it says that you are preparing. You're making a plan and you are preparing for your ships to come in, right? Successful King of Wands is sitting in your power. When you come out of this hermit mode right here, totally in your power. You are also going to take forward messages with the Princess of Swords about the King of Fire that you are. A passionate messages. You are going to deliver passionate messages to somebody. The Eight of Wands comes in and says that you're going to do it quickly. You've made a decision and you are acting on it. You are going to very expediently communicate these, these passionate feelings that you have right there with the King of Wands. Or, or it could be that you're very immediately going to take action somehow, some way, right? The Two of Swords comes in and says that you have dealt with your repressed emotions right there with the Five of Cups, right? Forgiveness, acceptance, you've dealt with those repressed emotions. Temperance comes in and says that you have tempered yourself. This is a very well, very long coming, thought out decision that you are making right here. The Five of Swords comes in and says where there was once conflict within yourself, Eight of Swords, Hermit, the Moon, the Seven of Cups. Once where there was confusion and conflict within you, there is now justice. You have now come to terms with all of it. Come to terms with all of it. What you're going to do with this Eight of Wands, this action that you're going to take, is um, a new journey and a new beginning with the Fool card. The Two of Pentacles comes in and says prioritization in your life now right? Prioritization. You have a goal. You know what you want. The wheel comes in and says, this is a turning point in your destiny. This decision, this new journey, this justice, this dealing with these feelings, this, this moving on, right? This is a turning point in your destiny because now you have absolute clarity, absolute personal truth about what it is you are going to do. What it is you're going to do is deliver messages of love with the Page of Cups. This is a messenger of creative new beginnings in your life, followed by the Ace of Cups, love, followed by the Ace of Pentacles, manifestation of a brand new opportunity, followed by the Ace of Wands, holy cow, inspired action, creation, Four of Cups, right? Because you have 
evaluated the situation very, very well up there with the hermit in the moon, right? You've evaluated this situation and reevaluated this situation a bazillion freaking times, and you are um, absolutely going to come to terms. Going to you came to terms with it, and you're absolutely going to go forward, right? This seven of wands right here. This seven of wands is all about um, choices. You've no. I, if, how can I say this? This seven of wands is is about. giving up the fight giving up the fight giving up the fight with the with the choice to give up the fight right processed it all right here T turning point in your freaking destiny right there another wheel of fortune turning point in your destiny right there you're giving up the fight you've dealt with the emotions the despair the the loss the regret the sadness, right? The conflict. You've dealt with it all and you have personal justice about it because you found truth in the hermit, right? You found truth in the hermit. And now you're going to go forward confidently. New beginning and a new journey. A turning point in your destiny again. Ace of Swords absolute mental clarity about delivering messages of feels about about being about love about manifesting a brand new opportunity with power and creation and inspiration wow thought about it long and hard and now you're ready to give up the fight death comes in and says there's an end an end a change a transformation of your life with hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, with a sense of self-sufficiency with the Nine of Pentacles, exciting, passionate, passionate feelings with the Prince of Wands, and oh my God, look here, another fool. Oh my God, I wish I could say your name. I wish I could say your sign. My God, the Fool card again. Holy schmoly. Wow. A new beginning and a new journey, a new beginning and a new journey, a turning point in your destiny, a turning point in your destiny, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, brand new beginnings in love, in prosperity, and passion. Ah! That results in the Three of Cups celebration because of decisions that you've made to reunite and reconcile with somebody from your past, to plan for your future, and to start a brand new chapter in your life. Wow, that's awesome. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.